All right, boys, it's been a long time coming. We finally have got a go-kart for the channel. Got this thing the other day. I picked it up for about $700. It does look pretty roached at the moment. This thing's gonna be a fully electric conversion go-kart. Right now on this thing, we have a Predator 212. Honestly, don't exactly know what this dude had done to it when I bought the thing, but it looks pretty clapped as of now, and it is because everything needs to kind of be ran through, cleaned up. I feel like go-karts could be the next big hit. They kind of already are. So I was like, you know what? It's finally time to pull the trigger. Trying to pull this trigger for like a year practically. I've been telling Matt. Matt has a fully electric conversion right there. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Eventually what this thing's sort of going to look like. Fun. So today we're going to rip it. We got to rip it with the, the actual motor on it right now. Stock as is so you guys can see. And then it'll be a full process on the building. So there's no bueno. We got all sorts of stuff. The seat's all jacked up. Everything's just not looking the best, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Me and Matt are gonna go rip right now. The build conversion is gonna start. So here we go. The tires on his are way wider than these ones. So his is gonna grip way more and the e-brake is tight. So coming down here, power, gonna hit, fine. we're gonna hit on and then that choke. I knew it. Dude. I knew. <laughs> you gotta sit in it when you start it. Bro, it just jumped like three feet in the air. Okay, we gotta be aware of that. I can't believe it didn't break nothing. Oh, he has a clutch. That's all it was. Look. What's that? This is a choke. Alright, it's on right now. Oh, yeah, Matt is gone. And then I hit like the governor or something because it, it just maxes out. I'm probably going like 25, 30 maybe. It's slow. We finally got to go for it. I'm watching my arm right here because the exhaust is right there, dude. I do not want to burn it. First problem. I got gas. All right, boys, we are out in Costa Mesa right now. We're heading to the beach. I had to drop my truck off to get some work done. And yeah, we're just cruising right now. We're gonna ride to the beach, me and Matt. Put a little sidewalk action, wrap. But we have the Hemiway C5 Ultra, I think is what it's called. We have this out here. And we're gonna take this thing for a little cruise. You guys saw my last video, I unboxed it. First looks at this thing. I've actually kind of got a sick frame design they got going on. It's got a rear shock and front fork. So this is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. So you can get pretty good range. They say 60 to 80 miles, which is actually insane. We might be able to ride to the beach from here. We got a 750 watt motor. We got hydraulic front and rear brakes for that good stopping power. Look at this, I even like this. We got carbon right here. We got Kenda all-terrain fat tires on this thing too. So on the road, off the road, aluminum foot pegs. Cruising the bike down here, the build of this bike is actually super solid. It feels super good. The thing's actually pretty light for what it is so it doesn't feel like a cheap bike we also have a rear shock back here an air rear shock we got the front forks too these things are actually pretty plush so apparently you could lock the display and you have to get in with the passcode which is actually kind of cool so that's like another cool security feature dude for what these things are like this thing's pretty legit tell them why i'm scared yeah that's it right there that's plenty of speed yeah easy <laughs> yeah, we're out here at Newport. Pulled up on the beach. You can see our refs coming all the way from the road. Pretty sick. We got a jetty right here. 
I don't know if bikes are allowed on the beach, but I'm gonna rip down this thing. I wanna feel the water, see how cold it is. It's actually not that bad. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Say riding on the beach, dog. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this, honestly. But if I do, I do. It is what it is. This is so sick. Oh, dude, if I had my Sur on here, which is definitely illegal, I know that for sure. <laughs> it's pretty sick. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from out me. Just me, myself, and I, my favorite three song. The cars I drive up by, I never lease them. They say if you can't beat them, then you join them. That's no option, I don't join, I always beat them. I was fake, you had to find me. Now I'm on B, skating like I'm grinding. L hit me, said it's all about the timing. This thing off, so maybe this is the fuel in. That is what this is, it's the fuel. We turned off the fuel. Oh! Okay, so I think I have to leave the... Something's up with this car. I have to leave the choke on so I can go on this thing. It's not going without the choke being turned on. Dude, it's hard to control with the motor. It is so damn loud, I can't even hear myself think. video we're gonna go ahead and get it I'm just trying to learn this damn thing honestly all right come around here I'm already covered it out man this thing's tapped out come through make a left a little drift action we're gonna come through this little S turn right here okay and then just a straight left right here. Two left! One more, one more apex action. <laughs> you count me down? Count you down from three, two, one. See what Matt's got. Oh yeah, look, he's already ripping. I think electric's just the way to go, dude. Honestly. Wide open to a left-hander right here. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, that had to be like 10 seconds faster on that. Had to. Had to be. Tight. Yeah, it is. Holy Toledo. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Watch your arm, dog. Frick, <laughs> it is. It's scary. It's like scary. Okay. Wait up. Wait up. Hey. Hey. Oh, Frick. I gotta catch him in his car. I'm not gonna catch him now. Bro. This thing is so much faster. Holy. I wasn't even full throttle.
dude, it's actually kind of terrifying going fast in these things. I'm not even gonna lie. It's only getting held on by one, bro. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's running like bolted nuts in it. Like they're not even the right bolt. What the frick? That's crazy. Like these would. He's not the move. Done. So rip your boy off, but good thing I have a full conversion. And not even to mention the go kart stuff's kind of cheap. So it should be fun. You found another one? Yeah. Holy frick. All right, just mob home and then come grab me. All right. I'm stranded, bro. So I'm thinking about it. I'm not really that bummed. This thing's gonna get a full build anyway, so I'm gonna head over to our refrigerator Ace. We're gonna grab me and Matt, grab some bolts. I'm gonna grab some spray paint. Should be good to go, brother. Hey. It's the verdict here. So, look at this. It had threaded bolts, and he didn't have the right bolts, so he put like, Harbor Freight tiny bolts. Look at that, it's supposed to be threaded. Oh, so he wasn't even going through thread. Another day. All right, we got my cart back in the garage here. The wheel is off. It's in the grass somewhere. I got to go find it. But we have all the stuff to convert it. We got my old Suron motor, BC 8000, 420 chain, uh, a full Suron harness. And we're basically just going to base it off this thing. Matt didn't build this, but he bought it like this. So we're just going to kind of look at it and then kind of figure it out as we go, I guess. So... off of the go-kart right here we got the front we have where the seat mounts go and then what the frick is this thing oh that's the back of the bar so that, <laughs> this is this is the back i don't know much but uh black and purple i think i think purple will look sick we got this see that we got shaming. some flake up in there candy, candy. great this should change the entire look of this thing and it looks pretty damn bad you guys saw it. it's rough yo. yo that's gonna look fire. so this is just probably gonna be somewhat temporary but if you guys like the go-kart content then i'm gonna get this stuff like legit coated dude that looks so damn good dude i'm about to paint my truck this time <laughs> quick update we have the front painted the back painted the seat these mount things painted we got the seat in and then this thing's looking pretty good right now. So now next up is the BAC 8000 and then the battery. Gonna have to find out how to have that whole setup. If you look at Matt's, he's got these back here. He's got these two brackets, his battery just sits in there and then he just straps over and the thing's dialed in there. So it's like similar, but completely different at the same time. So far so good. So back to it. <laughs> Got the straps around it right here. Just tuck the extra flap. And then it seems like it's holding it pretty good, so. That thing ain't going nowhere. You're going nowhere. Oh no. We're not getting power. All right, so the BAC 
it's getting power, but it's not outputting any power. So I think the 8,000 is bricked, which is actually a major bummer. It has this extra far drive controller from China or wherever. Yeah. What is it from China these days, it's honestly? From, it's from China, yeah. So. <laughs> All right, so the wing has got to go on. So we got this bracket from our 30th trip to Ace. Show them, show the people. 39.99. Okay, oh, whoa. Oh. Little L bracket. Could just do it like that too, yeah. All right, guys, we got the brackets all painted up purple by yours truly. If you look closely, it looks like trash, but as long as it looks good from afar, we're dialed in. So that wing is going on. Got a different steering wheel here. We got that Alcantara, Alcantara, however you say it. It's looking all fresh, better than that beat wheel. <laughs> Official, dude. Oh shit, can you grab the nuts? Some wrap. We're going to put this on the seat because the seat is looking a little rough here. So we're gonna go ahead and just put that on. Pretty little sharp. Not bad. I feel like a little tool. Alrighty, you guys, that is going to be 95% complete finish, I'd say, on this go-kart. You see, I have it zip tied, which is super sketchy. These aren't lining up, so I'm gonna have to drill those out, put different ones in, gotta do that. I also need to order some more suede because I ran out, so I had some leather. <laughs> and it looked weird with just the green bottom, but from afar, it actually doesn't look too bad. But dude, I think this thing came out pretty freaking dope. I'm actually super stoked on it. I'm not gonna drive it in this video. The next video, I'll be driving this thing because I don't want to drive it with this. Also, my alignment is super far off in like my camber. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like the camber is pretty bad on this thing. So I think it came out good though. I'm actually super stoked on this thing. Look at the wing on that. we got a 72 volt 30 amp hour chai battery. Suron stock motor pushes plenty of power. I also have to unlock it. I have it limited to like 30 miles an hour right now. So I have to unlock it to go 60, 70. That's all with this far drive controller. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this thing. And if you guys want to see more, be sure to comment. Let me know. I'm actually super stoked on this thing. I'm excited about it. The content on it, I think it's going to be super fun. So if you guys want to see anything specific with these things, or if you guys think I should do anything to it, anything of that sort, let me know. But so far, so good. I do have a handbrake. I need to find a way to connect the foot and the handbrake at the same time because I don't want only a handbrake. It's kind of sketchy in my opinion. So I like the foot brake, but I want the handbrake as well. That's how we weld these things up, or mounted these things up. Probably gonna have to add some support. Also, we got this battery. It's pretty protected now. And then we also have these notches down here to hold the battery from sliding left and right. So another thing I wanna say is, if you guys are interested on an in-depth how to build one of these, Matt, the one who pretty much did all the work on this thing, on his channel, I'll leave it linked below. He has a video explaining in detail if you guys are interested in building one of these. He's gonna show you how to get all of it done. So huge shout out to Matt, check him out, links in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one where we're gonna shred this thing, so stay tuned.